Hello guys, so I have great news. The MRTK team presented last Monday the new Mixed Reality Theater tool for Unity. So what is this tool for? If you're struggling with the different package of MRTK or you didn't know where to find them or which is worse, you didn't know which one to install, this is the tool that will help you not to struggle anymore. So when you run the tool, you can simply select the theater version or package you want to install and the tool will identify if you have any dependencies missing. And of course, it will download all of the in your Unity project to include those features. Important notes to consider are that this tool is only available for Unity at the moment. It can only be run on Windows 10 and with .NET 5 runtime installed. So the support team says that uh, the tool for Unreal and macOS is coming soon. So let's check out how we can run the tool. Okay guys, so you can see my desktop in here. So I have three folders. In one of them I have the theater tool. Let's check it out. Okay, as you can see, we have an executable file, then we have some DLLs. Uh, in order to execute the tool, we only need to uh, open up this file. But before we do that, uh, let me show you what else do I have on my desktop. So I, in here I have uh, one unit project that does not have, as you can see here, no package. It does not have any package um, installed on it. So let's run the tool and try to uh, open up each one of the files to see what our tool helps us with. Great, so we have in here the tools, we have some important configurations uh, we can apply. As you can see in here, we have a button that is the config the configuration button and in here you have some settings that uh, you can mm, change first of all you have the download settings uh, basically it will enable uh, packages to be downloaded uh, every time you are they are acquired so in, in case you want to override the, exi the existing packages file you need to click on this one they still didn't make available the possibility to know where uh, those packages will be cached, but um, they say that this will be editable in the future. Right now, my suggestion, like on the website, on the documentation, you will see about MRTK, this is not recommended to, to be enabled, but they have the possibility in case you want. Then we have the uh, filter settings, which basically will enable to acquire preview packages that are not still um, previews that are released so if you click on that you will have on the uh, the list of packages the previous one i will keep it with the preview and then you have the import settings so basically if you want to replace the existing uh, files you may have and the folder inside your project in which your package will be, will be installed okay so let's test it out i will say okay and let's start it once you start uh you will see that i had the last updated it's not on date because this is the first time i run it but it is refreshing the packages so you have to wait a minute until you get the information Great, so when everything is downloaded, you will see the following options. So let's see the Mixed Reality Toolkit options. As you can see, you have all the packages, in case you don't know them all, these are all the packages that are available for Mixed Reality Toolkit. And something important that is that you have the versions included. And let's check this out. We can see the preview because we enabled it on our settings. But if you don't enable, you won't see these uh, options. So as you can see, you have the 253 version in here, 252, 251. And we also have some platform support in this case you have the OpenXR plugin and the different versions for it you also have the special audio and also the different options and other features like the mixed reality input the web rtc and some samples for web rtc so uh in order for you to understand which one are the 
the, the main objective of the tool which is helping you uh, to identify the dependency you may have in case you want to install some some of the features I will select for example to install the examples for 253 so as you guys know we need the foundation in order to our examples to run so let's see what happens let's select get features once you click on get features you can see that the packages are being downloaded of course, the only ones that are being downloaded are the packages that we selected, in this case, the example package. Great, this part will take a while, in my case it took a couple of minutes, but as you can see, if you, don if you download the uh, Mixed Reality Toolkit examples, the tool will identify that you need these three packages also uh, as dependencies to be installed. So once you select this, um, you will need to pick your project I will select the one that has no package on it and we will uh, select validation so no validation is used word detected and we will select import so once this happens you can see that in here you can review and approve the proposed changes to the manifest, uh, manifest and the project so the proposed changes to the manifest are displayed in this area, as you can see over here. And the files to be added to the project are listed in here. So the compare button in here will allow us to side by side view uh, the current manifest and the proposed changes. So let's see, as you can see, we have until model sex are in here. And these are the changes that we will be getting into our manifest Good one. great so as you guys saw I have in here another package in this, in this case it has uh, the 251 package foundation package in here and let's see what happens when we try to upgrade our package to 253 so uh, let's start this out so I will try to install the examples package and version 253 so the tool can detect that I actually need the foundation 253 in order to run it. Great, so what we will see is uh, I have the I want to install the toolkit examples but version 253 Remember guys, I have installed uh, version 251, but I still didn't inform the tool which one is the folder I want it to be installed, but it already detected the dependencies. So I will uh, go to my packages 251 folder. So this is the project I want to validate. Let's see, it's okay, so let's import it. So what I have in here is how my manifest will look like once I update it and the files that will be added to my project but let's compare the manifest with our previous one so as you guys can see in our previous we had 251 and now we will have 253 so it automatically will delete 251 and update our manifest to 253 um, once this is done let's approve it and that's it let's go to our project and we will see under packages that we have uh, 253 and the same will happen with our manifest. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.